Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we are going to be summoning on the standard banner. Now I finally have enough acquaint fates up here to hit pity uh, in our history. It goes back uh, nine pages. So we've done a total of 50 summons. So plus exactly these 40, we will get to 90. So we are guaranteed to get a five star. And I'm pretty excited for this one because the odds that I get something useful for me are very high. I don't have a single five star weapon because I've used all of my resources on limited character banners and I haven't used any gems or anything on the standard banner. So this will be the first time I hit pity on the standard banner or even get a five star from the standard banner in general. Now the one the time before the last time we did a summoning session on the limited banner I got my first standard banner character which was Deluke. Now Deluke is a very good character that I can't really make use of at the moment because Klee is my main DPS character. So probably the only thing that we could find in here that wouldn't be that great is, oh I pressed the wrong button, I meant to go to details. But like the only thing we could find in here that wouldn't be that great is a, another Deluke. But of course Deluke constellations are fantastic because Deluke is just a great character. I just can't make use of him right now, I might make use of him in the future. But these other five stars would be fantastic, especially Chi Chi or Jean to give me a great healer. I'd also like Mono or Kaching just to be a different elemental DPS five star. And I'm sure a lot of these five star weapons could add a lot. As long as I don't, I don't really know exactly what they are because I haven't looked into them. But I'm pretty excited to just get something from this. Now we're gonna go one at a time just because of the high chances once we get to 70 of just pulling a five star and us being able to save quite a few acquaint fates, which we might continue into the next uh, layer of pity if we do get the five star early. Now we probably won't get two five stars, but there's a chance. So we'll, we'll leave that open, but let's go ahead and get started. Now, the one four star that I don't have, I want to do the standard banner summon before I summon on Albedo's banner. Assuming that I do, I'm still trying to decide. I want to see what's on Ganyu's banner first. But I, it's, the problem with Ganyu's banner four stars is it can't have Bennett or Sucrose on it, right? And those are kind of like the two characters that I'm looking for at the moment. Because obviously Bennett and Sucrose are both on this banner. So I kind of want to summon on the Albedo and maybe hope that I don't get Albedo. I don't know. It's kind of awkward. Almost like the best case scenario would be either get Albedo really early or get a different five star really early just to help my path towards um, Ganyu. But I mean, that's neither here nor there right now. We'll figure that out. What is this? Is a four star. But if we could get Bennett from here this is official which is pretty good just because official constellations are really good she's a great character that i use a little bit she's not in my main squad but she's a character that i have leveled and i use as my lightning or electro character so she's quite good and i like constellations on her but yeah bennett would be ideal because then i might just not summon on albedo's banner at all if i could get bennett because I really want Bennett. Honestly, I think Bennett is a fantastic character. I think a lot of people know that already. But I really want him. Chong Yun, huh? Chong Yun is a character that I don't really use. I think he's also a really good character. Especially with one constellation. I already have constellation one Chong Yun. So this is kind of just like sugar on top. But Chong Yun's a great character for people who don't have a good 5 star ice character or anything. Man, we're just getting four stars out the wazoo. It's Bennett! <laughs> okay, that's that's super exciting, actually. I do want C6 Sucrose, but the fact that I got Bennett here means I will likely not be summoning on Albedo's banner, which might be a disappointment, but I mean, we're going to be summoning like crazy for uh, Ganyu. Still trying to decide if I want to get more than one Ganyu. I kind of really do. And I haven't really spent a whole lot of money on this game yet. And I've played the game for since it came out. So like it's getting to that point where I could drop a little bit. 
especially since I just got like Christmas money and stuff, Christmas bonus from work. We got the resources to drop a little bit. But yeah, so what is our five star gonna be now? Cause I am super happy with getting the Bennett. The odds of that, like we got a four star, then we got a three star, then we got two more four stars. But the odds of that are pretty low already. Nothing doing, huh? We are approaching 70 summons. Okay, we got another four star already. Skyward, or not Skyward Heart, but the Stringless, really good because I think, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use Stringless on uh, Ganyu. I haven't figured out what bow I'm gonna use on Ganyu quite yet. Cause I have a few good bows. Stringless is one of them, but Stringless is also really good for Venti and uh, Refine 2 Stringless would be even better, which that gives me now. Cause I have one already. I really want to know what our 5 star is going to be. I might be a little disappointed with a 5 star weapon, but I don't have a 5 star weapon, so it could be really cool, right? But we'll see. If I mean, there are some 5 star weapons that aren't that great, but the 5 star weapons just overall have massive stats compared to their 4 star counterparts. So in a way, most 5 star weapons are gonna be good for you unless you just don't have a character that they can be uh used well with so we're about to approach 75 we're on 74 right now 75 is where the rate for five stars goes up dramatically what can we got a four star i thought maybe that it would change to five star favonius warbow do i have that one i must have that one that's the one that gives uh the energy recharge right so yeah, I, I think that's the one I'm using on Venti right now, which is a pretty good bow in general, especially for anyone who needs lots of energy recharge. Now, how many of these can we actually save? If we can save at least 10, then we can go 10 into the next pity. I don't want to summon if we don't have at least 10 summons, just because I want to be able to keep track of it in my head. All right, last one to see if we're actually gonna get the five star early. It's the five star early, right on the cusp. It's another Deluke. Ah, the game just kicks me in the face, doesn't it? It it just really wants me to use Deluke. We got 10 more though, and we're doing them. We're going 10 into the next roll. Man, the game is just teasing me at this point. We'll look at Constellation 1 Deluke. I'm sure it's something ridiculous that just makes him super powerful because all of his constellations, I'm pretty sure, are fairly good. But it could have been so much different stuff. Here's a 4-star. I wonder if we can get two 5-stars here. Razor's good. I think I have C1 Razor already, so C2 Razor. I don't use Razor yet, but he is a cool character, and I think he's very good. Just like Chong Yun, I think Razor and Chong Yun are really good, especially if you use them together. Um, then you just create like an endless superconduct comp. Just because Chong Yun buffs all auto attacks to be ice, and Razor makes his uh, on hit electric damage while he's uh, using his elemental burst. So you come up with some really sweet superconduct combo where you're constantly superconducting everyone. Which is uh, another character that I really want to make use of is Beto, actually. With If Beto's on the Ganyu banner, that would be really cool. I'd like to get a few Betos and see if we could make that happen. Because Beto would be really good with uh, Ganyu and would probably be really good with Klee as well. Not... We're not getting another 5-star, unfortunately. That's obviously what we expected getting two five stars would have been a bit much to ask for but we get another well let's let's check out our official first we got a few constellations here that we can go through we actually have c3 official this one is just upgrading her is that her e yeah that must be her skill burst i i forget what the names of her abilities are i just know that midnight phantasmagoria is the elemental burst 
Wow, so that must mean that Knight Rider is the skill. And increasing the skills ability is fantastic for her because the skill is kind of like her bread and butter, right? You switch to official, you put out Oz, and then you switch off of her to something else. And then Oz stays there and constantly does damage to things. And that's what makes her so good at generating energy for Electro characters, as well as just helping your team in general to proc Elemental Mastery. We'll skip over to Luke and read his thing after we've done the four stars. What is C2 Razor? C2 Razor increases crit rate against opponents with less than 30% HP by 10%. Just straight up, but just damage buff. It'll it'll only work when they're below that amount, but it's going to work on every single enemy, right? So it just makes them stronger. Can't complain about that. What do we got going with Chong Yu? Oh, I have a lot of Chong Yu. I, I thought I only had one for some reason. So what do we got going here? Chong Yu regenerates one energy every time he hits an opponent affected by Cryo. This seems really, really strong, kind of like what Albedo does, where every time um, his transient blossom pops, it gives him a certain amount of energy. This is pretty much the same thing, gives uh, Chong Yun energy. Although I think Albedo's, is Albedo's for everyone? No, it's just for him, but it's uh, it's like 1.2 energy, while Chong Yun's is only 1 which, I mean, it's still going to be good. It'll just make it so Chong Yun can spam his uh, elemental burst a little bit more. And finally, we got Big Daddy Diluc here. Diluc deals 15% more damage to opponents whose HP is above 50%. Almost just a better version of what we got for Razor just now. You just, when you start fighting people, you're dealing 15% more damage. So if you can hit them with something big before you bring them below that 50% health, this is going to be really good. So like when, when people are getting close to that 50%, you might want to proc your ultimate or your elemental burst, deal massive amounts of damage. I think the explosion is mainly what's going to deal the damage and then you'll have this dot and all kinds of other stuff. Does the slash come before the explosion? I don't actually know how his ability works exactly, but that that constellation is just stupid. Deluke has I know that Deluke's constellations are pretty crazy, so it's hard to complain. I'm sure people would love it. I just find it hilarious that Klee has been my main DPS ever since she came out, and now the only five star that I get from the original banners is Deluke because I need two fire characters, obviously. But maybe I will run two fire characters at some point. I just need a different healer. I don't think uh, Noel goes well with characters that are so selfish like Klee and Deluke. By selfish, I mean they want to be out as much as possible using their abilities, constantly auto-attacking because that's how they do their job, which is to deal damage, and Noelle is a selfish healer where she has to be out to actually heal, which means that these guys get less time to actually deal their damage. So someone like Barbara, where you can just activate her skill, granted her auto attacks while it's up will give her more healing, but you just get passive healing. Someone like Diona might be good just because you throw out her elemental burst and that heals which is why i was kind of looking for a gene or a chi chi because i believe i know that gene can uh, provide healing with her elemental burst i think that chi chi also provides passive healing while she's not out but both of them heal more while they are out and dealing damage now bennett's also a good one uh, i forgot to talk about bennett because uh, he didn't have any constellations but he's new to my box and bennett is a fantastic character what am i looking for i'm trying to look for this where he's going to heal people now c1 bennett would have been really good because it removes one of the restrictions in his abilities but i think that is not going to stop me from wanting to use this guy he's really good if you already have a fire character then you can proc that fire bonus for having two fire characters so he would run well with Klee, and um, you got healing coming from him, from his uh, elemental burst that he just puts on the floor, 
So he's not very selfish because he's putting down healing on the floor and he is then also giving an attack bonus. So this guy is a very good support character that I am very happy to have and I'm sure I will build him, make use of him. I know that he's really good with a Beto support as well. So you combine him with Beto support and then something like a Sucrose and then you throw in your damage dealer on top of all that and you're getting the attack from this guy and you are getting Beto's uh, Stormbreaker that makes you do electric damage on auto attacks and then with Sucrose you're getting like her buffed elemental mastery effects. So you're dealing uh, whatever element the primary character is doing, you are getting buffed elemental mastery and you are getting lightning damage from Beto, so you're automatically doing elemental mastery procs off of someone like Klee, whose auto attacks are going to be fire. So I think uh, Bennett is probably the biggest pull that I got right now. Granted, everything we got was pretty nice, and I'll just have to figure out how I'm actually going to make time to build the Luke because it's just difficult when you already have a fire character and now that i want to build bennett i can't only build fire characters right i gotta diversify a little bit so that's where i'm hoping that ganyu will come in but either way that's gonna do it for this one we got the character we were actually looking for which is pretty crazy and then we got this guy which he's crazy but maybe not for me at the moment but either way hopefully you enjoyed this one and i will see you next time